guys, what's happening? So, I'm going up the mountains right now, and my um, windshield wiper pumps does it work. Um, yeah, the issue, like when you're going to the snowy mountains where there's snow, you get a lot of that road debris the, from the snow and the ice melt all of your windshield. So, my wiper motor doesn't work, the uh, windshield washer motor. So, this is an F250 uh, Power Stroke 6 liter. 2006, but the washer motor should be the same for most of these F250s. But the uh, washer motor is under the battery, so got to pull the battery up. And the pump is down there, but the only way to get to it is to unbolt the washer tank here. Okay, so the motor wasn't expensive; it was only twelve dollars on Amazon. So I'm going to remove the battery and come back. All right, so this is a two battery system. So um, so it's still active. So because actually the positive wire just feeds over to the other battery. So you want to cover up the connector so you don't ground it out. The rest of the bolt remove it is 8mm down there too. Alright, so you're going to have to take the battery tray off right here. So, 13mm uh, here and here. Alright, now the battery tray is removed so I can take the 8mm uh, bolts off. One, two, three. And the pump's in the front, and I'll show you that. But So you have to pull the pump up. Alright, so now that those three bolts are loose, I'm going to try to capture this fluid if I can. I just filled it up. So you have a connector and reservoir and the uh, little hose down there that feeds it or feeds back up to the windshield wipers. It was already raining yesterday and I was working on the car that's why there's water down there. But um, so I'm going to try to get this tank up out of here without trying to spill too much of that fluid. We don't want to recapture because I just filled it up uh, maybe a couple years ago but um, that's like the good uh, like rain or something in there. So. I might be able to just tilt this over. I got the whole thing out of here. That's the pump. So mine was seized. I've actually unseized it before. I think I made a video about me unseizing it. But, um, yeah, so for $12, I just had to just get a new pump. Um, yeah, the unseized, you just got, somebody just got to hit it with a hammer. I, probably, I could probably do that again if I wanted to. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this up like this. Not spilling too much of it, maybe. Yeah, so my new one actually had a new gasket. It's almost like a, it's like a screen and a gasket, but... The stuff that's in it, so it's, it's very slimy. It looks like it's like a, what if it's moldy or something, but I'm just gonna put right, it together so. and uh, get the power in there, see if it works. All right, so before I put the second battery back, um, I'm going to, uh, because it's I still have one battery, so I can still run on one battery. So I'm gonna get that going. You know, the jets might be clogged just because I haven't used this thing for so so long. So where's a bunch of wipers? All right, new windshield wipers. All right, ready to go to the mountains. All right, now I'm just gonna put the second battery back, and that's it. it only took me 15 minutes, if even that. It took me all. It's probably gonna take me longer to film and make the video. <laughs> all right, cool.